how to fix screen size on your PlayStation console. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Genie Guide. In today's video, I will show you a couple of ways on how you can fix if you've been having the irregular screen size on your PlayStation console. So make sure to watch the video till the very end. Now first thing, before you try to fix any type of setting within this PlayStation settings, you wanna grab the remote of your TV and make sure that all of these display settings of your TV is as well connected and actually properly synced. Because just because you have a proper setting inside of a PlayStation console and the software integration doesn't really mean that on the outside which means your base for which you're connecting to your TV or your display monitor might actually as well be the same so you want to make sure to check that display settings after that what you want to do is turn on your PlayStation console and then we want to navigate to settings all the way to the right hand side and once we go to the settings here you'll find a bunch of various options we want to go to the one that says sound and screen and as you go to sound and screen you can find the very third option that says display area settings so you just want to Go to display area settings so as you can clearly see whether you want to enlarge or to shrink the screen size over here so if you want to enlarge it you can hold the d-pad up on your controller on a playstation in order to keep enlarging the size of your screen if you want to shrink it then you might as well want to do that as well now if that doesn't help then you can come up towards the top of the screen and then choose the option called video output settings as you go to video output settings here you can see resolution so you also want to identify the resolution that your tv supports so if your tv only supports 720 pixels placing a 1080 pixels inside of your playstation console will not help you solve your problem it has to be ideal because all of the resolution and even though on the game that you set it to some other resolution and on your playstation console it set to some other output settings that could be another reason why you've been having the screen size issue so make sure to choose the ideal size for yourself for example here in this case you can see i've been choosing 1080 pixels now if you're playing some kind of game for example within the settings of that game as well you have to choose the resolution of 1080 pixels and not 7 20 or more the higher than 1080 pixels so you want to make sure that it's set to the ideal one you can see the rgb range you can only change this if you use an hdmi device that does not send rgb range information correctly i only recommend you set this to automatic as it is also recommended by the playstation company themselves you don't want to set it to limited or full if you don't know what you're really doing if you'd like to adjust the hdr as well as other hdr settings such as deep color output and so on you could do that respectively or you could also go to the video output information to view more information about your screen inside but as i said the primary reason over here is that you have to set a proper resolution both inside of your game as well as your playstation settings hope this video helped you if it did help you then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel and if you've got any more questions then feel free to also leave them down thank you very much for watching and see you soon in our next video